Okay, so um, I'm just going to go through uh, a couple of little things um, that are really good to have is um, TV logos. So when you go to the TV channel, the TV guide, what we'll show you is, so we'll boot up Media Portal just to show the difference. <coughs> boot it up. So when we go into uh, go to TV, if you're using TV, what we'll go is see the TV guide. Because I've just set it up, it hasn't picked up all the guides yet, so that's fine. But see how the uh, over here, it's all there's no logos or anything, and the layout of them, ABC 1, 2, 3, news. You can change this layout in um, TV, so we'll go through and we'll do that. And I'll show you where to install all the, copy all the um, logos so that they pop up here. So I want to close that up. <clears throat> so um, what I've done is I've actually gone um, out and looked for my own logo. So what we'll do is um, I have downloaded all my logos. They're all the logos that uh, they were the old these are all the logos that I currently use. So what I do is I'll copy them and uh, where, where you need to go is to in Windows XP documents and settings you want to go into all users uh, application data, team media portal, media portal, thumbs, TV and logos. So if I paste all of these in here, <coughs> don't worry about those two, um, these will pop up as the logos that I use on um, in the TV guide. The one thing you've got to do is the name of these files, and it's, it works. It, if you name everything in PNG, you won't have any troubles. And the thing is, the name has to be exactly the same as it is in the TV server <coughs> configuration. So we'll open that up. Take a while. The, uh, while that's while I'm waiting for that, what I'm going to do is um, one of the other things you can do to change the look or personalize Media Portal is if you you can download skins. So if you go into the Media Portal website, or you can go straight to skins. But I'll take you to the Model Media Portal website and show where you can find the skins. So, um, if you go to download here, get plugins and skins. Obviously, so if you've got a, most people have a widescreen, if you don't, <coughs> if you don't have a widescreen monitor and you're using it or using an old TV, there's only real one skin for you to use and that's this one, Ampeg. That that is a very good looking one, very user friendly one for um, 4x3 skins. But if you um, have a wide screen, like most people these days, um, there's a plenty to choose from. The only thing is you've got to be careful because Media Portal 1.2.1 is quite new. So you've got to watch that. See how it says 1.1.1? That, that skin won't actually work on 1.2.1. So you, the Maya skin is actually very good and there's some, um, it's being developed at the moment to fully support 1.2.1. But if you scroll down, I'll show you the, um, some very good popular ones is um, this one here. See how it says 1.2.x? That means that will fully support it. This streamed MP one here 
is um, a very, very popular one. and it, you can see it's created by the um, users of Xbox Media Center. So um, there you can read that. So all you do is then you click download and it'll go and download it and um, it'll change the look of your uh, media portal and again you can go through here and find the ones you like there's lots so yeah this is essentially this is what your media portal could look like you know instead of that blue that we saw if you click it it'll um it'll show you so you know it's let's say you've got all those shows um, it explains a little bit about the show and it changes the artwork so it looks very very professional so um, you'll be utterly, if you haven't seen it before, you'll be utterly impressed. Um, and yeah, you can go through and have have a look at what it'll potentially look like. So I've got my own favourites and that's one of them and I, I use a few different ones, change it from client to client, so my laptop has a different one to the main one. Um, so uh, that's where that, so go go through that and have a look. Okay, so um, <clears throat> where in here, if you go to TV channels, and um, if you look here, this is where you can actually change the um, the position of the channel. So you know, like if you obviously, I don't watch a lot of ABC, so I normally put them down the bottom. Um, for instance, I'd normally go, let's say, I'll put 7-2, seven, 7 made at the top. Um, let's put Gem and Go at the top. And also 1 up here. Um, I'll move 7 up below it, and then 9, and then 10. And let's put up 11 up here, all the alternative shows up there, and ABC, ABC 24 can go right down the bottom, but it's there. So that, that's how you change the layout, the position of the channels. And <clears throat> this is where um, the name of the file, so 7 Digital has got to be exactly the way... Uh, seven space digital it's got to be exactly the same as that so no you can't have the number nine so you see nine digital um, ten digital you see it says ten digital exactly again the ABC one and actually that's not correct because that's got a space so what you really need to do is I'll go and put a space there so then you've got ABC two and three but C2 and 3 doesn't have a space, so you've got to make sure it's exactly the same, otherwise the logo won't show. Um, that's all for that. <coughs> Save that. Uh, let's open up Media Portal again and have a look at that TV guide very quickly, just to show you that it worked. And yeah, I prefer to have it load up um, like that little box when it's loading up otherwise um, it takes up the whole screen so I'll just leave it as a window so we go to TV and TV guide and there you go so you can see that that's been changed all those um, logos have uh, logos are there and the, um, the channels have been adjusted to the way I adjusted before so, you know, let's just go down here and have a look. So you can through, so let's go. If I click on... Uh, so that's it. So um, just wanted to show that that's doable so you can have all your TV logos on there as well. All right, that's it. Thanks very much, and uh, we'll come come back and uh, do a full um, showcase once everything's configured and set up, ready to go. Thanks very much.